What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach, Elliot Scott. And what if I told you that if you do this one thing, 90% of men will come back. This is true, trust me on it. They always come back, especially if you do this. So let's jump right into it. The first thing I wanna do is kinda lay down the groundwork. And there's two things I wanna go over. Number one, it's how it ended. If it ended horribly, then you might as well just click off this video, okay? If it ended horribly, you're, no. However, if it ended in a neutral or it just didn't work out type of way, you got a chance. So what does that look like? If you're talking to a guy who got in his head and started pulling away, you know, that's not a bad thing. I mean, it is for you, but what I mean is like, it's not doomed. If you're talking to somebody who is sporadic with their texting and you called it out and you know, you guys went your separate way because he couldn't uphold your standard, you know, that's not a bad, well, again, it is to you, but it's not a bad thing for this situation. It is um, fixable, okay, salvageable. So with that being said, the next thing I wanna talk about, the second thing is a concept called framing. And it's and they go hand these things go hand in hand. You'll see, um, framing in the most simplest form because I can write a whole entire book on it. Uh, but in its simplest form, it's trying to convince someone of your perspective in the interaction. So an example of this would be if you and I are on a date, and I want to come off, uh, I want to create this frame of high value. I have to create certain, or I have to manipulate certain variables. So what would that look like? Well, high value men, you know, I might have my body language, I might lean back, you know, take up a little bit of space and uh, um, I, I'm not chasing as hard. I come off that very confident and sure of myself. I make sure you are pleased. I make sure you are happy, you are taken care of. I lead the conversation. I pay for the date. I make sure you're having a good time and things like that. These are frames I can control. And the more convincing, here's the important thing, the more convincing a frame is, okay, the more likely someone is going to adopt your frame because the whole time you have this thing what they call a frame battle, okay? And you want to uh, have frame control. So a frame battle would be uh, well, you want to come off high value too, and you don't want to chase and stuff like that. So you have this perspective on, or you manipulate the variables in a certain way. But again, whoever has a more convincing or the what they call the absolute truth, like the true um, uh, uh, um, uh, variable, it, it, it benefits that person. The other one's going to adopt the frame. So what I mean by true is, let's say a guy doesn't want to be in a relationship with you, but you want to be in a relationship with him. So you could play this game where you're like, oh, I don't give a shit, F you, whatever. But behind that mask, internally, you do care. It doesn't matter how well you play the game. If he actually doesn't want a relationship, you lose that negotiation because he's not going to continue it. There's no reason for him to continue it. However, right now jumping into this, what is the one thing you need to do in order to get guys to come back. The first thing is you have to understand why guys pull away, and I'm gonna run over this real fast just so we can jump into it, but men pull away because of pressure. That's the number one reason. They'll give you a bunch of excuses, but it all fun, uh, falls under the idea of pressure. And I know this for a fact because I used to be that guy, number one, and number two, um, if you think about it, if a guy has the assets and doesn't have to pay the cost, why would he pull away? If I were to offer you an apartment or a home and you don't have to pay for it, would you take it up? Of course you would. Men are no different. If I can have my cake and eat it too, getting in your pants and I don't feel like I'm, per, or I'm I don't feel pressured. I don't feel obligated to give you something. I don't feel like you're hopeful or holding out for a relationship. So I, again, I don't feel that pressure. I'm going to continue to do it. I'm getting free sex. Okay, so um, the, the the assets have to be worth the cost, meaning he has to, again, it has to end well, he has to want these things, okay, and he has to believe that it's worth coming back to, meaning, you know, I might want to have sex with you, but if that's going to be drama, because after I hit it, you're going to, you're going to assume a relationship, we have to go through all this shit again, um, it's not worth it. But when a guy pulls away, the one thing a woman needs to do to, 
to to get a man back or to have him chase is to believe it he needs to believe 100% without a doubt that he actually lost you so one reason guys pull away is pressure okay well the one one reason guys don't come back at least right away and i mean like the first two, you know month two three whatever is men feel like they don't need to you're not going anywhere they're not convinced that you moved on they know that hey you know we separated or i'm the one who pulled away because i felt pressure or i the one who didn't live up to her standards it's not that she didn't want a relationship i just wasn't able to give her one but i know if i came back around and said blah 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 what what you know whatever um she would eat that shit up and i'm back in and that's usually what guys do so i have videos i'll probably link it somewhere right here on you know guys wanting to be your friend still guys still wanting to be on social media with you, which I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I actually would keep them on there if it ended decently, um, just so they could see what they missed out on. However, if you want to click, you know, the links right there, if you want to check it out. Um, but guys want to be your friend because they don't want to burn the bridge. They, they don't want to burn the bridge. So going back to framing again, I'm wrapping this all up now, going back to framing. If you can frame that, you are a high value woman who is done with this shit and it's convincing he's going to be like oh shit what just happened what's going on here okay guys have two levels guys have the first the uh, for, two levels of missing you the first one is what i said the first one is, you know, oh, she's playing this game. We're not talking, but I don't miss her because I don't regret. I, I don't regret anything because I act. I haven't actually lost out on her. I, I I can get her still if I wanted to. However, if you create a frame of a high value woman who's done with the bullshit, meaning you're consistent with it, you're following through, you're not responding to his texts. He's double, triple texting you. You're not looking at his. Uh, his photos he's looking at your shit and you're not responding to the hearts to the emoji what none of that you actually act as if you're done there will get to a guy will get to a point where he thinks oh shit i actually lost her and ladies guys are always going to go through this process by the way it's inevitable and guys are going to miss you it's just if they're going to do something about it so you want to raise your chances as much as possible when he goes through this process and it becomes like the right thing at the right time sort of scenario where it's like man i really miss i'm lonely it's saturday night i'm sitting here i'm not really doing any shit. work work is beating my ass you know, it, it was nice having her around and he's going to reminisce about it. Why? Because it didn't end badly. It's not like you guys hate each other. It just didn't work out. You it just, you guys just went your separate ways. Doesn't mean that you, their feelings weren't there. He just was unable to give you something. So when a guy starts to miss you, he's going to have this feeling of regret, but he can only, ladies, this is so important. He can only have it. He can only have this feeling if he knows he lost you. Re uh, the regret, regret's so powerful because it's self-inflicted. If I don't feel that you're gone, if I don't feel that I lost out, if you don't give me an opportunity to miss you, I can't feel regret. So to sum all this up, ladies, the one thing that you need to do is create a frame as a, of a high value woman who's done with the shit to the point where he goes from this level, like I said, to the second level. And if you want to know more on the process that a guy goes through, because I always say he goes through four stages when he pulls away. Okay. And if you want a lot of depth on that, uh, on that whole conversation or uh, scenario, I have a video over here. I'll put, I'll put on the side that you can watch. So with that being said, ladies, go watch that video if you want to know what he's thinking and the chances of him actually coming back. I go into a lot of detail. With that being said, ladies, I love you all. Take care and peace.